So today we're going to be reviewing the Chanel Revitalizing Foundation and we're also going to be testing out the new Mediterranean eyeshadow, the limited edition one. Um, so if that sounds good to you, please subscribe to my channel, make sure you like the video, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so at this foundation, um, I did get the shade 30, B30. It is one fluid ounce. So it's a nice glass frosted bottle. It does come with a pump. This foundation does claim to be buildable, supposed to give like a luminous finish with a natural youthful glow. So we're gonna see about that. Let me just prime real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so I did prime using the Benefit Pore Professional. I do have just kind of right here in my T-zone, some pores. Um, I do moisturize beforehand, use SPF, all that good stuff. So I just kind of use a blurring primer on top. I'm gonna test this foundation just kind of how I normally would wear foundation every day um, with my normal primers and all that good stuff just because I want to know that I'll be able to wear this like normal. If it doesn't work out, we'll kind of make adjustments, find out what works best for the foundation, if anything. We're gonna do one side with the Beauty Blender, one side with a brush. I'm gonna use the Sonia Jumbo Base and let's get started. So it's not pooling too much. Kind of work this into the brush a little bit. To do about a pump and a half. I tend to like my foundations a little bit more natural. I don't like it too cakey, I guess is my point. I don't think anyone likes a cakey foundation, but I would rather go on the more sheer side than the more full coverage side. Pretty good shade match for me. I do have other Chanel foundations and B30's always been a good shade match. I have a pretty basic skin tone, so I never really have to fortunately worry about too much them not carrying my shade. Chanel is a French brand. And if you didn't know, I do live in France. I am French. This foundation caters to every French skin tone. However, do you feel like I'm probably the demographic for this? All right, so with the brush, I actually like it a lot. I don't have the greatest eyesight, so it's hard to tell before I put my glasses on. It does blend fairly well. I used about the whole pump and a half, so we're gonna do another pump. Work this into the Beauty Blender. Just see. Another pump. So this is about four pumps now, and I'm gonna be honest, I usually only use two pumps or so. I do prefer the sponge side. It just sinks into my skin better. Like I said, I tend to prefer a sponge. I'm gonna go over this with a sponge. All right, let's take a look at this with my glasses on. That'll probably tell us a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, on first impressions, this looks amazing. I really like the color. It looks good over my, my like large pores right here on my cheeks. That's kind of my biggest problem area. I can't say that I have very problematic skin. I have pretty normal skin, leaning on dry just depending on the weather. But I wouldn't say dry it just gets more dehydrated than anything. There is a difference between dry and dehydrated skin. So I would say my skin's normal, just tends to get dehydrated often. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm really liking this. So let me just put some concealer on. I'm gonna put some powder on, put the rest of my base makeup on really, and then we'll get started on the eyeshadow. All right, so I'm back. I have the rest of my base makeup on. So far, I'm really liking this foundation. I have seen like a few reviews on it and it wasn't getting the best reviews. It does seem like there is a little bit of an issue with wear time. So we'll kind of test it out, see how that goes. I do have some stuff I have to do outside. I live on a farm right now. I move around a lot, but currently I'm on my mom's farm, um, watching over it while she's in the States visiting some families. So I have some farmer stuff to do, cleaning some goat cages, doing a lot of fun stuff outside. It is pretty, pretty gloomy outside as you can see. So it'll be a good test for the foundation as far as outside weather. However, it's pretty blurred on my pores, which is kind of really all I care about. It's not very heavy. 
even around my nose, it's, it's looking good. I did use the Charlotte Tilbury powder to kind of blur my pores, like I kind of use that under my eyes. And then I use the Hourglass powder, the loose powder on the rest of my face. So that is what I have on with blush, bronzer, and highlight. I did do my brows and now let's start on this. So I did see Michelle Wong review this and that's pretty much what sold me on it. Um, it just kind of looked like really good one and done eyeshadows. I do have to say that I don't like the case. It kind of feels a little cheap and plasticky. I did expect more for Chanel case. This is my first Chanel quad. The eyeshadows do look amazing. I'll insert in some swatches and I will also at the end of this insert in some swatches of the foundation and all the other Chanel foundations that I have in B30. Um, I do think in the in one of them I have B20 but we'll compare all the different uh, swatches of the foundations just so you guys kind of have like a reference. And then let's try this quad. I am going to use it as a one and done. Again, I'm not a big fancy uh, makeup wearer. Like I'm going to wear this how I normally would wear this. I'm going outside with the goats. Zelda the pig. She doesn't care what my eyeshadow looks like. So <laughs> we're going to kind of just do this more for me, but not super crazy. I'm going to pick this up with a Morphe R39 brush. It's kind of like a stiff blending brush, but since we're using it as a one and done, I thought it would be good. I'm gonna use this bottom right shade. Don't know what the color is called. Just gonna go in and then just blend it out. It is more of like the darker bronzy color. All right, we're gonna have to get a fluffier brush. Let's put some on this side, kind of even it out. I just went in too heavy handed. This side's doing better. I have to figure out a fix this. All right, I gotta have a clean brush here. We're gonna kind of see if we can just wipe away some of this. Let's just add a little more to this side, try and deepen it up, even it out. All right, I know I said I was gonna do one and done, but I have to use one of the lighter shades to kind of brighten up the inner corner, I think. I'm just gonna use my finger since this was darker than anticipated. All right, I'm gonna try and work on this a little bit more, add liner and mascara, and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back, makeup's complete. Um, I did add, you know, nude liner, brown um, eyeliner I tight lined with, and then mascara and some gloss. Again, pretty simple, just going outside, working with the animals. So we will check back in in a couple hours and just see how this wore, but so far, I mean, I think it looks really great. I don't know if this would be like an everyday for me. This is definitely more of like an occasion wear just for my preference of makeup it's more on the fuller coverage side so i would wear it more like if i was going out to dinner but i didn't want anything full coverage kind of like that medium range where it wasn't a super formal very elegant event but i wanted a little bit more done up than just like a tinted moisturizer or something else more sheer so yeah we'll insert in some swatches and i will check back in with you guys in a few hours Zelda. You don't care about the rain, huh? Okay, see ya. Cheers. Hey everyone, so this is my, it's been about six hours, six hour check-in. It is very cold. I ended up not doing anything on my list of things to do because it started raining and now it's just a little foggy. You can see horses back there, but foundation is, it's looking okay. I loved it when I put it on. Um, however, like now you can't really t tell too much, but up close, it's just especially my forehead. It's just not doing me any favors. It's It doesn't look bad. It just, yeah, it just frankly isn't doing me any favors. It's just kind of aging me, like definitely settling like in my forehead wrinkles, kind of like on the side. I mean, I am in my 30s. I do have wrinkles. So this is definitely just more of like a foundation like I said earlier that I would wear to dinner not something I would necessarily wear for like an eight hour day to work or something where I need like a heavy duty foundation to like hold up and wear throughout the day so that is my six hour check-in you should have seen some swatches 
of my other Chanel foundations and some other close shade matches just to kind of compare to this one. Again, I wore this, the shade B30. I think it was pretty good match for me. That's the match or the shade that I normally wear in all Chanel foundations. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Again, if you can like the video, subscribe. If you're new, that would be amazing. Turn on the notifications and I will see you in my next one.